Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at Mathematics 1510, which is pre-calculus A. October, November 2017, question 6 is based on trigonometric triangles. Let us start. This is the actual question paper. We are going to look at this question for today. Question 6 says that in the following sketch, C angle A, B is equal to 15 degrees. And then C angle A, D is equal to 45 degrees. And A, C represents a distance of 100 meters. This is the pictorial form of the statement. But then we can simply label and add the values or the given data from there scenario to the diagram now they're saying ac is 100 meters and then we have this angles here c a b it's c a b this triangle c a b this angle is 15 degrees and then we also have another angle which is uh, c a d is this one so CAD we have 45 degrees the first question is saying what is the measure of the angle of elevation from A to C so looking we are looking at this line you can see the angle of elevation it's actually this one so the answer to this question we are simply going to say it's 15 degrees that is why it is allocated one mark and then determine the angle of depreciation from D to A so this is the actual angle D to A this is our A so the angle of depreciation is this angle plus this one so it's actually 45 plus 15 that will be 60 degrees and then from there we are looking at 6.3 use the law of science to determine the distance represented by DC leave your answer in a sat form so we are actually we are actually looking for this distance here now we need to work out as you can see we have six marks so let us start with this question but before we go to 6.3 let us look at the proper way on how to answer 6.2 as you can see the question is saying determine so we need to say the angle of depression from D to A so the actual angle will be 45 plus 15 degrees and then that will be 60 degrees don't just write 60 degrees you must work it out now going back to 6.3 this is the actual diagram and then we are looking for this side so what we are going to do if you notice we have three different types of triangles we have a d c which is only this part and then our next triangle is this one we have 90 degrees here which is a b c and then the last one is actually this one a d b now to answer this question the first working we need to find this angle angle d in order for us to use the signs now we all know that looking at the actual triangle the big one this angle plus this one plus 90 degrees we know that they will sum up to 180 
So we can actually find the value of D using this. So angle D plus angle B plus angle A will get 180 degrees. So angle D plus B it's 90 degrees plus A it's 60 degrees it's equals to 180. Solving this angle D will be equals to 30 degrees. So you are going to have 30 degrees here. And then from here we can start applying the law of sine rule. We are only focusing on we are only focusing on this A, D, it's actually D, and C. We know that we have 100 meters, we have 45, and then we also have 80 degrees here. And then we are looking for this side. So angle A, C, D, and then it's sine A, over a it's equals to sine d over d we know that this is angle actually this is side c this is side a and then this is actually side d from here we have sine what is our sign A? It's 45. Angle is 45. And then we are looking for this side, which is DC. So we can say side DC is equal to side, I mean sign, the angle is 30 degrees over 100. Then from here we can simply solve. We cross multiply, we have DC sine 80 it's equals to 100 sine 45 we divide both sides by sine 80 this will result into 1 1 multiplied by DC it's actually DC it's equals to then when you punch this on the calculator our answer will be 141,42 meters this is our actual answer that's it for this lesson video this is Bahula SJ thank you very much